Hey everyone, I'm Army Gaming. welcome back to the channel and welcome to Evermerge. If you're watching this video, it is probably because you are playing this game in the hope to get some in-game currency of another game. So for myself, if I want to get the in-game currency of Monster Legends, I need to get to level 11 on Evermerge. You might have done a different task where you need to get to level 9. So level 9, level 11, or whatever task is out there. The purpose of this video is to give you guys tips and tricks so that you could advance and level up to the level you need to so you can get back to playing your game with your in-game currency. So with that being said, let's just do a little introduction on what is Evermerge. Kind of how the name implies, you are literally merging objects together and they essentially get bigger and better and you get experience points and that is how you level up. So let's kind of walk through everything you can see on the screen right now. On the top left hand corner, that is the level. I am currently level 10. I am trying to get to level 11. The little two right here, these are your workers. These are your gnomes. These are the these are the these essentially the characters that actually fulfill tasks. So for example, if I click on this piece of wood right here and I click cut, that costs 20 energy points and now the gnome is cutting that wood. So speaking of energy points, this is how you essentially are able to perform tasks. Once you run out, you're not going to be able to perform any tasks. The purple bluish wands, those are magic wands. That's how you're able to actually unlock more territory, which will give you access to more space, which will help you progress throughout the game faster. We have gold and we have gems. That's the in-game currency of this game. And honestly, if you are just playing this app for the purpose of finishing it as fast as possible, you are going to be utilizing that as efficiently as possible so that you can get to your level 9, get to your level 11, and then finish off. So that's pretty much the game in a nutshell. Once again, you're just merging things together. So with that being said, let's talk about tips and tricks. The first and most important thing are to turn on notifications for this game. This game will notify you every single time workers are done completing a task, and sometimes tasks do take a long time. Take a look at this one. This one takes 30 minutes to complete. So if I have notifications on, I can literally have my task, have my worker start the task, and then later when it's done, when I look at my phone, it's like, hey, the task is complete. So that's super important. It'll notify you when your lottery ticket is ready. Lottery tickets are essential to this game. See, I, this, I have one right now. It is free, and it'll disappear if I don't click it in time. So I got to make sure to take advantage of the lottery tickets and it'll also let me know when my free chests are ready to collect Right now if I go to the marketplace and if I go to specials and I scroll to the right There's a free chest right there and there's another one right there because of the events So turn on notifications because it'll let you know when something is ready when your orders are fulfilled as well We'll go into that in a little bit all right, so the next piece of advice are the lottery tickets. Always, always, always be collecting your lottery tickets. Basically, a bunch of little chests will open up, you click a random one, and you get energy. So it's essentially free energy. And that leads us to the next point, is that anytime you have over your maximum energy, make sure you spend it because energy will not will not refill if it is at its max. So as you can see right now, it's at 94 out of 88. If I was to leave the game, I would not get any more energy because I am already past my capacity thanks to the lottery ticket. And so you might be wondering, okay, I have a lot of energy, but look at my island, it is completely full, I can't put anything more, like let's say my island was completely full, when your island is completely full, it'll say not enough free space, that's why it is important to get more area. Well, you can still waste energy, because what you can actually do is start different tasks, especially if they are 30 seconds or less, because another tip and trick is that if a task is 30 seconds or less, you can actually click free, and the worker finishes immediately. So look, my energy dropped, let me do it again, let me do it again, let me do it again, right? and keep doing it. Who cares if you can't actually fulfill the order? Ooh, that one took five minutes. I should have done that one at the very end. Let me do this one. Let me do this one. All right, my workers are busy. Okay, one is ready again. Cut, and look, my energy drops to six, and I don't have to collect the items. And who cares if there's not enough space? At least now I know what's coming up next. All right, now let's talk about merging. In this game, you basically merge three items that look the same, and they become one new item. But here is the biggest, most important thing. If you merge in multiples of five, you actually get double the items. So if, instead of merging three items together to get a new item, if you merge five together, you actually get a second item. So my advice is to put things in two by twos or in lines of four. So see right here, these little orange, or I think these are carrots. I have four together, so once I find that other carrot, I'm gonna mix it in the middle, and I'm gonna get five. And one advantage of doing this over here is that you get to see what items are coming up next. So I don't see any carrots, so that's not gonna be useful. Oh, by the way, these floating things right here, I imagine right now, because we have a Christmas event, these things are available. But for you, I imagine there's always gonna be different events. This might always be the case. Click on those because they give you, they tend to give you a lot of like important stuff. So look at that, I got a carrot. So check out as I merge five together, and instead of needing six, just with five, I get two of those items. And that's awesome. So take advantage of that whenever you can. And, and again, organize, line things up. So see right here, these carrots, I have four together. I'm not gonna merge three of them together. That would be a waste. I'm gonna wait for my fifth one. So let's see what else I have organized. I'm waiting for one more um, little mint right there, peppermint. Do I see any? I don't see any more. Nope, so I think we're just kind of waiting. Organize, I see this house is, con is congruent with that house. So let's put those together. Let's try to get five together. So try to organize as much as possible. Let's talk about your characters. You should try to unlock characters as fast as possible. If you go to discoveries 
and then one of the first thing that pops up as soon as it pops up right here this are the characters so you start off with the sleeping beauty eventually you'll get boots then you get paw and then you kind of keep going and it tells you what you need to do to unlock it so for this character i need to get those pearls and eventually um, i'll get them i'll get the character but basically with these characters you can start doing orders and you want to keep doing these orders because this is actually how you get a bunch of the magic wands so always 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 be filling their orders so right now it'll take a while but they're going to be craving something in a little bit and i'll be able to fulfill those orders and by the way these give you amazing rewards see there is those go the, the ones right there some more ones there some more ones there let's see and the cool thing about the, this is that this does not occupy your workers so you can do orders as your workers are working on other stuff um so let's see they also will give you gold so also merge the gold together also in multiples of five so here is let's see let's get that one there and let's get that one there so do i have one more gold let me look around i want to find one more gold so i can get coins and these coins you can just collect easily so it's super simple and like they want their orders again so let's go ahead and fulfill them so make and make and make and now i just come back whenever they're ready and i'll start collecting i think i should also mention that you could watch ads to get 30 extra energy in case you ever run out i personally don't recommend it just because i already watch ads in my other game i play in order to get the in-game currency and other resources so i don't want to watch more ads in this game so i don't think you really need to watch ads if you need the extra 30 energy go for it but that's totally up to you as a way to get extra energy the daily goals is something you should always definitely do. Just go ahead and claim and just read through them to see what you have to do. Make any mergers. I got to do 15 of those. Purchase in the market. Open chests. Spend rubies. So what I recommend for this one, go ahead and click find. It'll point you to the market. What I recommend is to buy the resources. Buy the apple. Buy the carrot. Buy the candies. Oh, look. Um, yes. When it asks you for gems, I think I was supposed to spend gems. When it asks you for gems, go ahead and spend it. The reason you want to do this, just do one. Only do one a day just so you can complete your task you end up getting most of it back anyways you get 10 then you get one so i really only spend a net of 14 and you need it to complete your daily goal so always take advantage of that sometimes it'll have you spending gold just do it on the resources it's, it's honestly a good value and this is how you're able to complete your orders because sometimes you will run short on completing your orders these things pop up and basically as you click on them you get the resource so that is my candy whoops that is my candy the more i click it the more i get it so as long as i have space i can keep getting everything i just bought from the shop so let me keep by, let me keep clicking on them, and there you go. I mentioned this a little earlier, but make sure you get your free chest in the market, okay? Right now, because of the events, because of Christmas, I imagine, there's two chests, but normally you do get one free chest every single day. Throughout the day, you probably get like four or five of them. And these tend to have really good rewards, but again, you need to have space, and right now I don't have the space, so this is where I can merge some stuff together in order to make sure I get the space. So let's see what I can merge together. If I am ever low on space, I will just go ahead and merge the coins since coins are easy enough to get. And then let's see if I can open it or if I'm still out of space. Let's click open. And I got a coin there. Let's go ahead and open there. I got three of those items. I know I have another one somewhere here. That's why it's important to organize. So I just got to find one more of those items. Oh, there it is. Boom. And there we go. Right now, there's a special event going on. So again, there's always going to be like different special events that you can probably take advantage of when you're playing the game. Here's my other free chest. Let's see what this one gives me. Oh, look, I got that peppermint. I know I needed one more. So let's make sure to merge five and there we go my next trick is do not be afraid to use the remove tool you can basically grab this shovel and click on an item that you want to remove yes it'll remove permanently especially those like low ticket items that you can get easily go ahead and just remove them especially if you're trying to make space for something else especially if you're trying to do a merge of five so for example right now um there's some stuff in the way i'm trying to do some collections so let me go ahead and collect this so i can get rid of this already and basically those things that give you resources like apples carrots um candy cane these you can actually remove them once you're done harvesting and then you can they would actually give you resource to be able to do it again so right now speaking of resources i have four together this one this little tree over here is going to give me that resource i need so then i'll drag that and look i made five and bam i have two more so now i'm looking to get five of these i have four over here so now i just need one more and then i can keep upgrading and that's essentially how the game goes take advantage of that oh look i have one right here boom and now i have got two more so now i have four over here let me go ahead and put them together let's see that way I know I just need one more of that one and then I'll be able to harvest stuff. So harvesting is super important because that is how you get more items. Oh look, this is ready. Let's go ahead and collect. Let's see what we give me. A little gold, the magic wands. And yeah, that's essentially how the game goes. Let's go and talk about these little two guys right here. These are the workers, the red gnomes. These are cool because you can basically exhaust them in one hour intervals or less than one hour intervals. So for example, let's say there's a task that takes longer. This one I think is a five minutes. I can get the worker gnome. I can drag them to that 
that thing that needs work and automatically it is done. So especially if you're in the game, these guys are really, really valuable to help you progress throughout the game. Especially if there's something that takes a long time. Maybe you're restoring something over here that takes a really long time. Use the red gnomes to your advantage. They are pretty hard to get. Sometimes you can find them by unlocking stuff. Like for example, these are red gnomes right here. If I was able to get to that island, I think this is a premium island. But sometimes just in the regular island, they are hidden behind um, certain like obstacles. So if you just open them up, see there's one right here. So once I get 1,000... Uh, magic wands and i clear all that rubble i will be able to get that extra red gnome which can help me out throughout the game and so then whenever you're going to leave the game just go ahead and and put your workers to work on things that'll take a long time like that one that took five minutes i should have done that as soon as i'm leaving so click send and then i can just exit out of the game and and then when the game notifies me that a task is complete, when my orders are ready, when everything is ready to be played again, I'll log into the game and I'll just kind of repeat and do everything once again. And now we need to talk about these little crystals right here. These things are super, super valuable. It's called Big Crystal Merging. So basically, remember how I said you need to combine three things together in order to merge? Well, sometimes like these two things right here are super valuable. The last thing we need to talk about are Big Crystal Merging. These two big crystals right here, you can use one of them as a substitute of an item in order to progress to the next object. So for example, if you have two, like right Right now I have these two things right here if I was to combine them even though I don't have a third item if I was to combine them with a big crystal it serves as a substitute so the reason I'm not merging it right now is because I'm waiting to get two more of these to have four because it could also replace the, the fifth multiple so then I can get two of the next item because I'm trying to unlock my next character so these things are super valuable don't waste them be very careful it would suck to accidentally spend it on like over here was something that's so easy to make so you want to use it for like your big ticket items like the next stage to unlock a character Oh, and another thing I want to mention is there's most likely going to be some sort of auxiliary mission in the game. So right now, because I'm recording this in December, there is like this extra island that I can play on. And at first I was playing that because I thought it would help me ex um, be finish the game faster. But it turns out you don't actually get experience points for the actual game. Instead, it's sort of like just an auxiliary mission where you merge more stuff and you do get bonuses as long as you complete the next reward. But honestly, it just takes a long time and I don't think the rewards are really worth it. Like I would love to get that red gnome, but the amount of time I spent playing this auxiliary mission that wasn't even giving me experience points is not worth it so i feel like i could have actually reached level 9 a lot faster in this game overall a lot faster but then i got a little actually addicted to playing the game and trying to master everything and like make things mer merge them as much as possible so i don't recommend doing the aux auxiliary missions just focus on the main missions so i can tell you that i was able to complete level 7 in just one hour of playing the game it took me six and a half hours roughly to reach level nine. So for those of you trying to reach level nine, about six and a half hours in total game time is what I imagine it would take you. But again, that's because I personally spent time doing the auxiliary missions. I, I would say like subtract an hour, an hour and a half. So probably within five to six hours, you can probably reach level nine. As for level 11, that's definitely taking a lot longer. I will show you a screenshot of when I reached level 10. So you guys have an idea of when I was finally able to reach it. To reach level 11, I think it's probably gonna take me another like two hours of total gameplay. So um, I'm kind of just setting things up to make sure I finish the game and everything. So hopefully this gives you an idea of how much time you actually need to invest in the game. With that being said guys, I really really hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Thank you very much and remember to subscribe. Answers. <laughs>